What's up YouTube, it's Milma here again with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is on generating random numbers. Um, so I've got an example here for random numbers. Um, and as you can see, as I click the button, a random number appears between 0 and 1 million is what I set it to. But you can choose any number you want. Um, so without further ado, we'll open up Xcode, create a new project. Uh, view based for iPhone is fine. I'm going to call mine random numbers. Uh, make it bigger and go into the dot h. And for this, we need one label to display our um, numbers. And we also need a oops. We also need an action to generate the numbers. Um, so I'm going to create an action here. Oops. And I'm going to call that generate numbers like that. Copy your action. Go into the dot m and just put your action anywhere. It doesn't matter where. And open it up. And uh, in here we're going to do two lines of code. Uh, one of them is going to be the integer that's going to be generated. So the number that's going to be generated. And then the other line of code is to put the integer into the label. Um, so first of all, create a new integer, which is just int, and we can call that random number, like that. And then we're going to go space equals space, so that integer equals a random number. Now, if you just type in rand like that, and do two parentheses, open and close like that, and then go percent, um, and now you're going to type in the number you want it to go up to. So if you wanted only five random numbers, you put five, because that will generate five random numbers up to five. It won't generate past five, it'll just generate up to five. Um, we can have 600, they'll generate from zero up to 600. It won't go past 600, just up to 600. Um, and I'm just gonna do 10, just because it's easier for us to see the numbers between zero and 10. Um, so I hope that doesn't confuse you at all, but basically that's making a new integer and we're telling that integer to be a random number between 0 and 10 or 1 and 10. And now we're going to put the integer into our label. So to do that we just press enter and go label.text, space equals space, open two square brackets, and now we're going to create an ns string to hold our integer and then to put it in our label.text. So that's ns string alloc and then init with format at quotes percent i for integer and then it's going to be comma our random number close square brackets and what that is doing is basically normally when we have percent at quotes we're going to put some text in there um, to make our label text change but because we don't know what this number is going to be we don't actually know if it's going to be five seven six we want it to tell us for us and then replace this when it needs to um, so to do that we Put, put percent i and that basically means integer and replace it at the end of the thing so we're replacing the percent i with our random number uh, and our random number is over here which we told it to generate between 1 and 10 um, so I hope that makes sense uh, that basically means replace me with uh, integer um, so now we're gonna go into our dot xib and put our label in and our button in and you can make this look all fancy like I kind of tried to do in my tutorial, uh, I mean in my example, but I'm just going to go with defaults for now. Uh, marker felt, make sure it's centered otherwise the label, uh, the number will appear to the one side of the label which look a bit weird. I'm going to call this generate numbers like that. I'm going to call this one random numbers like that. Uh, center them and command equals that. And now I'm going to go file zoner and link them up. So label to label and generate numbers to generate numbers and touch up inside. Um, and now we can build and go and see if it works. So here's our app here. And as we click generate numbers, it generates a random number between 0 and 10. So as you can see, as I keep clicking it, we get 9, 0, 2, 3, 9, 9 again, 7, 0, 3, 9, 8, 6, 5. So as you can see, they're generating loads of random numbers there between 0 and 10. Now if we change this number to 100, we would get loads of random numbers between 0 and 100. 
Um, now, my next tutorial, I'm going to be doing how to create a random text generator to ge randomly generate text rather than numbers because numbers are a bit boring and sometimes you don't want numbers to appear on your screen, you want text. Um, so, that tutorial should appear here. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you in my next tutorial.